for topping tonight's coverage. You can count on a new tonight at 5. Myrtle Beach City Council voted today to demolish an Ocean Boulevard hotel. News 13's Manny Martinez was inside council chambers for that decision, but he is live tonight outside the motel with what happened. Manny? Bob and Megan, good evening. City Council voted today that the Coral Sands Motel behind me here along Ocean Boulevard should be torn down. Now, a month ago, a judge ordered the motel closed for a year for being a nuisance, and that's why you can see that it is boarded up. But today's City Council decision is unrelated to that order. It is based on a list of code violations from earlier this year presented by the city's building official who added the buildings faced serious structure and electrical issues. City code gave council two options today, either allow the owner to bring the buildings up to code or mandate their demolition because repairs would be too costly relative to property values. The owner and his lawyer said the city's claim of extensive structure damage is unfounded, but also wanted to work with council members to establish a timeline to make the necessary repairs. There's no structure issue, period. And the electrical, electrical issue they showed you is fixed by the certified electrician. Mr. Bambani cares so much about this property, he would have been bringing it up to code all along, not waiting to get a letter not waiting for the solicitors to step in, and not waiting for us to make a motion. He clearly does not care about his property or its condition. And the judge's decision to keep the Coral Sands closed for a year did play a role in some of the discussions held today by or between city council members as to whether or not to allow the buildings to sit empty and board it up for another 11 months. That led to some tension even between the council members. At 6 tonight, an update from today's Myrtle Beach City Council meeting about free 65 retirees and their health care coverage. Live in Myrtle Beach, Manny Martinez, News 13.